Before Llama 3, some of the most performant and efficient open source LLMs were built with a mixture of experts as their architecture. ChatGPT is basically made this way, and Mistral made this really pervasive in the open source world. And with the release of Llama 3, which is a dense kind of monolithic model that isn't based on mixture of experts, the question has started to arise as to whether or not you can actually convert between the two, and if you took a model like Mixtral 8x7b or 8x22b, what would happen if you took all of those experts and extracted them into one and then compared their performance, both to the model itself and then other models? And the bigger question is less so if it would give you more performance, but actually just what would happen. So this kind of went under the radar last week, but Lucas Atkins, who has worked with Eric Hartford pretty pervasively on his dolphin models, decided to build some tooling that would make this possible, specifically with the Dolphin fine-tune of Mistral 8x22b. Basically what he's calling this is their initial 22b model conversion from Mistral 8x22b, with the notion of finding a novel way using some existing model merging techniques to take eight experts, turn them into one, and then see what happens. So I wanna get into if this actually improved the model, what it teaches us about some interesting sort of out of the box use cases of things we used to just think you could merge models with, whether or not it actually is better than Llama 3 or is still usable, and a few other things that Lucas mentions in this Twitter post. So welcome to AI Flux, let's get into it. First off, Lucas's work here was sponsored by Crusoe Energy, so check them out if you want to. And what's interesting here is this is something that a lot of people hadn't really thought of before. Of course, it used to be really popular to think of, well, you know, if we merge different models together or if we find different methods of merging, can we get something that's really interesting and more performant? And the chase was just for more performance, less so of trying to understand what the real trade-offs were when you start converting between these large architectural choices. So this model is right now available on Hugging Face under the name Dolphin 291 Mixtral 1x22b. So the key here is that they've taken eight experts and extracted them into one. And the way that happens is kind of interesting, but we're going to get into that in just a minute. He's also shared all the code he used for this on GitHub in this tool that he calls Extract Expert, which is pretty interesting. And first I want to cover kind of the main goal of this, which is taking eight experts and turning it into one. And the way you do that is maybe not exactly how you would think. So the way Lucas did this was, was by running his script and using slurp, which traditionally we've seen as just a way to merge models in the past. So what's interesting is the space model still retains its 64K context length and full weight fine tuning with a 16K sequence length. This took around 27 hours with eight H100s, which you know H100s are powerful, but that's actually pretty impressive that it didn't take all that long. The model was fully fine-tuned on all layers, which is kind of essential for any of this to work. And what's cool is, as I've said here, um, Lucas says that it, this was extracted using Slurp and a custom script. So the question here is, when he mentions that you know, it extracts a single expert, which is a combined Slurp of all eight experts from a mixtural architecture, there's a question of what that means, right? Because initially when you read extracted, you think of picking one of them and then pulling one portion of the experts out. But that's actually not what's going on here. What's going on is we're basically taking what we need from each of the experts built into this model, and then very, as Lucas describes it, quite surgically, then putting it into a single model. And it's not being converted into a dense model. So we're not getting something that's exactly like, say, Llama 2 or Llama 3. This is still architecturally, in terms of the actual flow through, pretty similar to how Mixtral 8x7b or 8x22b would work initially. It's just we now have one big expert instead of eight smaller ones. There are arguments that can be made in both directions as to whether or not this would mean more or less performance. Obviously, we have to understand what slurp is. So slurp really is just a method that was previously used for understanding which weights should be pulled out when you're merging two data sets. And you know, a lot of this is just kind of intelligently waiting and intelligently trying to decide which matters in the left input, and which matters in the right input, and then kind of cleverly putting these together with the slurp algorithm, which stands for a spherical linear interpolation model merging. And basically this definition here is pretty good. It says traditionally model merging often resorts to weight averaging, which although straightforward, might not always capture the intricate features of the model being merged. So basically slurp is a technique that um, smoothly interpolates this by trying to understand what portions of the weights are 
more so duplicated than others and tries to get a more reasonable reflection of that in the resultant merge than if you just said, cool, like we'll just take an average of both, see what we get, and then we'll see what happens. And in theory, Slurp gives you better performance. So what's curious is what we get after uh, we have this sort of new Dolphin 2.9 um, singular expert. Now, initially you're gonna, have, look, the blue is mixed relate by 22B, the yellow is Dolphin 1 by 22B. And some could argue, okay, well, it looks like we just lost, you know, between five and 8% of the performance. Um, basically, this is all ranked out of a score of 100 across uh, six different benchmarks. And yeah, so in some ways you could say, okay, this didn't work. You spent 27 GPU hours across eight GPUs. What is this teaching us? And what's interesting is you would think that if you merged all these together, it would be the same. And you know, some people would also maybe predict that if you merged all of them together, you would be you would lose entirely whatever input context you were then you know beforehand distributing across eight experts or you know whatever was spread across the active tensors during inference. And what's really interesting is really the fact that we only saw around a 5 to 8% drop off in performance. So would I do this to make a model faster? Probably not. Uh, would I do this to get better performance? Probably not. But what we're learning from this is that the degradation of turning it into one kind of monolithic expert didn't wreck the entire system. And it, if anything, it just shows how robust the mixture of experts architecture really is. If you wanted to, for instance, pick and choose experts or swap them around and add them, this is a really interesting kind of foil or mirror to the idea of combining a bunch of experts into a resultant mixture of experts models that have more than one expert. And in the future, we might see some more interesting procedures where we end up with one expert but pick and choose specific experts as inputs. And of course, since we're basically entering Q2 of 2024, it wouldn't be a real model release without seeing GGUF showing up a few hours after the release and uh, multiple quants for MLX also showing up a mere few hours after release. And an interesting suggestion here from someone on Twitter is that this model doesn't necessarily need further fine tuning to improve, but potentially an application of pre-training, which is now really popular, especially with work coming out of Meta. So I'll be posting a full review of actually using this model in just a bit, but I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think this is actually just a curious experiment? Do you think we actually learned something of value from this? Do you think this is just something that's kind of a really interesting thing to do, but not very useful since in certain cases, this actually underperforms certain fine tunes of Mistral 7B? Please let me know in the comments below. And as always, I hope you learned something. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.